Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here or you haven't already, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you know every time I upload a new video. So for today's video, I wanted to do something fun, lighthearted, something funny. I just, I think we could all use that right now, a good distraction. So I have uh, been acting since I was nine and so I've been going to red carpets and events since I was nine and so there are a lot of photos of me on the internet whether I like it or not in outfits on red carpets and so what I thought would be fun for today's video is for me to roast myself and do fashion police on myself and basically rate some of my red carpet looks throughout the years. <laughs> I think you have to laugh at yourself. I definitely don't like to take things too seriously. There's some embarrassing red carpet photos of me. It's true, it's just a fact, I have to live with it. There's also some good ones, which is nice too. I had to Google myself for this, which uh, was just a rough experience in general. I have picked out some outfits from throughout the years. So there's some from when I was baby, there's some a little more recent, and we're just gonna check them out and uh, please sound off in the comments. This is the time to roast me, I'm asking for it. So let me know down below which is your least favorite look that I've worn. <laughs> Here's the first one. So this is me at the Creative Arts Emmys. Dog with a Blog was nominated. So we went three times and this was one of my looks. Now, here's the thing. This one, I don't mind it. I I, I like it, it's, it's nice. Um, definitely kind of an edgy look, you know, black with kind of the chain. There's just something a little bit off. I think either the slit needs to be higher or I'm not really sure what it is. I, was, I don't know whether I was going for like an Angelina Jolie leg out moment. I'm gonna rate these out of 10. And this one, it's like, you can hear the just kind of question mark in my voice. I'm, I'm, I don't love it, I don't look at this and like, oh, I love it. Sort of, I, I'm, I'm down the middle on this one. I'm gonna rate this a six out of 10. This girl looks like your all American patriot. Right after this event, she's going to a 4th of July barbecue. Go USA. Regardless of the patriotic theme going on here. Yeah, I don't think this is great. Not, not, I don't think it's a showstopper. It's, it's giving me suburban mom going out to lunch, ordering a Cobb salad. I, there's something about like the long necklace that really bothers me to my core. The shoes, I don't like them. It, whenever I have a bag, I feel like it looks like I'm ready to go to like a business conference or something. Right after this event, I'm ready to catch a flight and go to my business conference in Dallas. A four out of 10, she deserves that. This is one of my favorites. I love this look. I just absolutely love menswear and like suiting. I really like my chain bracelet ring thing there. Looks super cool. I like the deep side part on the hair, very chic. I'm gonna give this like a 8, 8.5. Really like this look, good job, me. Okay, this next one I wore to the Roots premiere and I really liked this. When I put this on, I just felt so cool and glamorous, but also edgy. I remember wearing this and just feeling so good in it. I'm gonna give this a solid nine out of 10. This, this is definitely one of my favorite looks and I would wear this like right now. Okay, now, now we get into it. This, this, this. I don't like it. Looks like I'm going to like a cocktail party, but like a business cocktail party. What's really not helping the whole situation is that I have like my bag over my shoulder. I never think that looks good on red carpets. The hair, I just feel like I look like a suburban mom. That's like such a suburban mom hairstyle. And then the dress, I mean, it's just a little black dress. So it's fine, but it's boring. It's so like boring. And then you just move further down. I have a bandage on my leg. Maybe if I had a bandage on my leg, um, I should have worn some pants. Yeah, it's a nude bandage, but like I can see it. Like you're not fooling anyone. The shoes, it's getting worse as we go further down. After the, the bandage, situation we've got these caged shoes i mean they're just i don't like them they they i just don't like them they're ugly yeah i just don't like this outfit it's boring and also bad <laughs> i'm 
so hard on myself. Three out of 10. <laughs> okay, this, I wanted to bring one of my first red carpets into the mix because I thought it would be just fun to look at. I can't criticize this obviously because I am a literal baby and, and I actually don't even have anything to criticize. Adorable. I mean, come on. I matched the lipstick, pink lipstick with the pink shirt, with the pink headband, super coordinated. And then I've got a blazer on, you know, she's very sophisticated. I paired it with some fun Converse because I don't take things too seriously. I'm lighthearted, I'm fun. I am ready to go to the playground after this. Seven out of 10. So this is the 2015 Kids' Choice Awards and I wore this two piece set. I just think this is such a cute combo with like the brown and coral cheetah print. I did a really fun ponytail. Love that ponytail with the braid wrapped around it. Did kind of a coral lip. It went well with the carpet actually, like an 8.5 out of 10. This one I wore to the Radio Disney Music Awards I really like this outfit. This is still one of my favorites. I really like the lilac dress with the pink fuchsia shoe. I just think that combo is great. I love that the top part of the dress is leather and the bottom part is like this flowy girly. I felt like a princess in this. Very cute. Nine out of ten. Okay. Um, I mean, this is also just a not great angle. It's, I, I don't know why this, which is this person like 10 feet tall. They're like standing over me and taking a picture. It's, it's not a great angle, but this is not a great look, I don't think. I think the dress is a little bit too long. I think that was one of the issues. Boring, coral, extremely coral dress. What I will say is, I'll be kind here. I like the shoes. I love a good zebra print. Hair looks like I did it myself. It's giving me split ends. It's giving me, I dyed my hair blonde too many times and now I'm trying to recover it. it. Looks like I'm grasping that clutch for dear life. I would give this a five out of 10. A for effort, C for coral, coral. Next up, we have this, this, this. There's denim on the on the backdrop. So I think it was like a denim party or it has something to do with denim. So that's why I'm wearing kind of a denim top. And that's about all I like about this. Uh, the skirt is cute. I, I, I It's fine. The booties, oh, I don't get how they go with the rest of it. They're like jeweled and caged and I just don't think they work with the top part of it. I have my bag over my shoulder. It just looks like like I stumbled onto the carpet and I just have my bag with me. Hair looks like I did it myself. The curls are curly. Don't love, I don't hate it, but there was some elements amiss here. This looks like I put it together in a hurry. I probably did, that's okay, it happens. Yeah, this wasn't the Oscars. No need to, to be too upset about this one. A four out of 10, love this. So this is another year at the Emmys and I think the reason I don't like the black dress so much is because I loved this. I think the dress is beautiful and it fits me so well. Here, the slit on the dress, I just think is the perfect height. And I love this shoe. It was like this gold sparkly thin strap, like beautiful. I absolutely love the middle part on my hair and just like the simple makeup. And then I did these like ear cuffs all the way up my ear. Literally like a nine out of 10. This is the Insidious Chapter 3 movie premiere. I don't know what was scarier, the movie or this look. I don't know what I was going for here. And then the hair. I was having fun with my clip-in hair extensions here. It looked like I was trying to do an Ariana Grande. Don't really get it. I don't get it. It's okay. Not a disaster, but not my favorite. A five out of 10. Next up, we have this girl. I really like this outfit. I love this color green and I really like it with the pink shoe. I love just how like simple it is. I love just like the very simple jewelry, just like that little chain necklace, so pretty. She needs a little steaming, but we can forgive her on that one. We'll let it slide. Eight out of 10. Next up, we have this news anchor. Um, Back to you, Jim. Tight, short dress, check. Blonde, curled hair, check. Stiletto, high heel, check. This is the latest Fox News anchor. It's a huge clutch. I don't know what I'm carrying in there. Hopefully I'm carrying a better outfit. 4.5 out of 10. Okay, next up we have her. This is actually, I think my most recent premiere pre-pandemic for the premiere of Timeline, which was a show I did recently. I love this jumper. It has, it's actually little shorts underneath, um, but it kind of looks like a mini dress and it has a really cute bow. Hair, cute. Love when I do little pieces out in the front like that and then the high ponytail 
The only thing I would change is the shoes because they literally blend into the, the, the floor. It just looks like my body stops at my ankles and it doesn't. I have, I do have feet. I'll give this a seven out of 10. Next up, we have this look. Here I am at Madison Pettis' 13th birthday. I am an infant here. You can tell that by my friendship bracelets on my ankle, the sequined pocket on my shirt. Come on, so cute, age appropriate, cutie patootie, an eight out of 10. Okay, next up, here I am at, I don't know exactly what I'm at. Extremely casual here. When extremely casual, I think probably my favorite element of this look, if you can call it that, is um my giraffe necklace. Because if your outfit doesn't have a giraffe necklace as the cherry on top, what are you doing? Who doesn't love giraffes? Got a sweater over a collared shirt here. I'm like a college professor who studies zoology. Three out of 10. Another one I wish I had thought a little harder about. This looks like uh, I just got out of the pool. This looks like a pool cover up. Uh, I got some, my hair looks like I pulled it back right then and there as I got on the carpet. I don't like this. I wish there wasn't a photo of me in this. I mean, what even, what even is there to rate? It's just a striped dress, jelly sandals. I'm just gonna give it like a two out of 10. I look comfortable. And the last one we have here, this is also the Radio Disney Music Awards, and I thought we would end on a good note. I really think this is super cute. Love this floral print dress. I just think it's adorable with the ruffles around the waist, the little red shoe with the bow. That's one of my mom's clutches that I borrowed. A nine out of 10. That's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this little fashion police moment on myself. If you wanna see more of these videos, unfortunately, I, I can. I, I really can. Comment down below, let me know which was your favorite and least favorite. Hope you all are doing well and staying safe. And thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.